to beat their 12th place from last season. Getting ready for the Canadians now, Piper and Paul. They two at the World Championships together. Strong sixth place finish last season for them. Nice top 10. Coming off some great personal best across the board at Canadian Nationals. Not only eye candy, but they look like real candy out there. <laughs> Paint box colors, I call those. themes for their programs. Right into their twizzle sequence, right off the bat. Jumping into it, aren't they? Nicely done. And then into Norwegian wood for the Ravensburger Wolf. They've been competing with this short dance all year, but actually this is a, almost a bit of a debut. It is, because we changed the music after four continents. Not all of it. We, no, not all of it, but most of it. Uh, we had two issues. Piper had very bad tendonitis, so we had to push her into new skates. And then we thought, well... I think we can make the music a little bit more accessible for everybody. So we just went with the Beatles. I think Piper likes spinning in the air. I think she does. I think that's my favorite spin. Oh, they have so much confidence. It's so fun to watch them skate. Fans here engaged, clapping to the rhythm. And your music choice worked. Cool little twizzle there with the hand on the head. They're not allowed to let go. Too. The Canadian couple, Piper Gillis and Paul Poirier. Three-time Canadian silver medalists. Always showing signs of improvement. This is their fourth world championships together. Last year, their best at six. Well, I can breathe again now. <laughs> <laughs> Audience seem to really enjoy that performance. Well done, guys. And it must be hard as a coach to watch your team. Oh, Lord. <laughs> but when you're seeing your students so involved in the moment and enjoying their talent and their hard work and putting it out there in the right place, your decisions were great. I, come on, you've got it. Yeah, and for those watching at home, Carol is one of the coaches of Piper and Paul. So yeah. <laughs> this and is why. the other one, Yuris there, <laughs> there is Yuris. And my husband, John. There's a whole bunch of us, you know, just all doing it. But those are your babies, and that's why you they are so, yeah. go quiet, and you get all cold and clammy when you watch them. <laughs> See that little mini waltz jump? That is an element, an option, um, that you can take to make your twizzles stand out, to give you another level. 
and their faces never change no matter what they're doing. If it's easy, if it's difficult, their faces just say, even in slow motion, their yeah. faces are serene. That's how good they are. And Paul is one of my favorite skaters ever. I he is him so say good. That, just so you all know. <laughs> he is so good, but Piper can keep up to him. Oh, uh, and she's got the most, you know, winning personality. And they have struggled a little bit with levels this year, and they've really focused on the technical aspect but somehow when we change the music everything just seemed to slot into place more smoothly you know and sometimes it's like that but i think i think now it's just momentum all the way from the first movement to the end and yeah. it never stops it's one clean clear thought and i think it just showcases technically um better um, because it builds on each other. It's like a good game of golf. Down the middle, <laughs> hit it on the green, one putt, mm -hmm. nice eagle. And they looked like they were enjoying it too. Mm -hmm. and, and I think the audience is very receptive to all the teams who've, who've shown that measure of enjoyment when they're skating. Now they actually set a personal best in the short at Canadians. That was 70.63, but that's not an ISU event. No. So no. technically, their season's best is 63.94. Let's see if they can blow that out of the water. They're going to need 68.45 to take the lead. And the judges give them. Oh, hurry up. Oh, come on, don't torture us anymore. <laughs> oh, wow. Woo. 70.70, another personal best. So you're saying they liked it? <laughs> I, yeah, it, it, they did not like it anyway. Which <laughs> oh, I love the expression. They will be so happy with that, I, I can't even tell you. And they match the background. Yours is already calculating, look at that face. I can see his face working hard. <laughs> Well, we have more ice dancers to come, including the reigning world bronze medalists, Caitlin Weaver and Andrew Poget, on road to the Olympic Games.